Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel, and this is to talk about an update that has arrived late yesterday, um, Tuesday, May 25th, 2021. I installed it this morning. So if you're on version 2004, which is the May 2020 update, if you're on version 20H2, which is the May 20, um, the October 2020 update, um, and if you're on 21H1, which is the brand new version, May 2021 update, you have a optional cumulative update that is uh, uh, on your system. There's also a update uh, for the .NET framework. So if you look at uh, Winver, when you go to uh, update, you should actually all be at either 19041, 19042, or 19.043 dot is 1023 so if you go into your windows updates and check out you'll see that it's an optional update in my case it was optional it, i'd had to click the download and install for it to actually install the only one that's not optional is the dotnet framework one which it was uh, there so if you look at uh, update history uh, there's uh, something that installed so let's go here for the uh, other updates. Here we go. So cumulative update uh, that is for uh, the system that installed today. As you see here, a .NET Framework 3.5, 4.8 also. So these are bug fixes. Really, really a huge, huge list of bug fixes. If you have any problems, that fixes a lot of stuff. So any little problem that you might have, any little thing, you can install it. If you don't have any problems at all, it's optional. You can just stay away from it for now. And one of the things that it actually will um, have you f get on your system, because a lot of you have been saying, I don't have news and interest. Well, now this update pushes the news and interest to everybody. So that means that after this update, if, if that's what you want, you now have the ability to get the news and interest uh, with its uh, weather and all of that. And actually it fixes some bugs that were in the news and interest app also at the same time. So uh, this is now available to you guys if you wish to get it. Uh, if you want to turn it off, of course, you right click the taskbar, just turn off and that's it. So my install took about 10 minutes total from the time that I you know, it downloaded the updates to the install to the restart, uh, but say about 10 minutes uh, max. So uh, the, on my system it was pretty fast, but it was a little longer than a lot of the updates I've seen recently. So if it takes some time on older machines, it might take uh, quite a while to install. It shouldn't take four hours. You know, people that have three or four hour in installs on these updates, your system has a problem. Um, these don't take that long. They do take, they can take half an hour and an hour in certain cases with older machines, but they shouldn't take four hours. If they did, your computer has a problem. It could be your hard drive that's failing slowly. That is uh, often the case when things get very slow. So uh, check it out if you have problems. Like I said, if you don't have any problems, you don't have to install. There's no security updates in here. So um, the, um, the only thing that will install will be the .NET framework that it, that one's not optional, so it probably contains some security updates in that one. But for the um, the update itself for Windows, it's really just a very big list of bug fixes. So if you have any problems, maybe this fixes your problems. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.